Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Casing the Catalogue Day and I'm super excited to show you this week's Halloween themed case. So we are working out of the holiday catalogue. Now this has been around since September 4th. So if you haven't had a chance to see inside it and you live in Australia and you would like a copy, let me know, I can send one out to you. But there's so many wonderful things in this catalogue. So today's card actually comes from page 56. Let me open it up and show you. It's using the tags, tags, tags stamp set and also the bundle which has these gorgeous trio of tags dies so save yourself 10% by purchasing the two together the one that we're casing today is these gorgeous little tags here uh, the Halloween tags now they're just tags and I thought I would make something a little bit different today so we are making a set of cards now they're only mini cards but they're so cute let me bring in and show you they are three by three cards here is the first one here using that first tag. This is the stylish scrolls embossing folder that's also in the catalog. So I've popped that in there as well. Then we have this one, which is a candy cane themed card or tag. And then the third one here is the boo with some gorgeous little pumpkin dies. So three really gorgeous little cards, uh, quick and easy to do and so beautiful. So let's get over to the craft table and we will get started. Okay, so these three by three cards are really quick and easy to make. Let's bring in the supplies needed. We have the tags, tags, tags stamp set, as well as the trio of tags dies. Now these two can be bought in a bundle and you save yourself 10%, so it's a really great saving. We're using some white baker's twine the stylish scrolls embossing folder now i love this one i've used it a lot and this is perfect for um, elegant cards as well it's a really pretty embossing folder the inks we have daffodil delight and pumpkin pie and we're also using memento tuxedo black ink i have the one and three quarter inch circle punch and we're using some sponge jobbers for Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. My card kit here is all ready to go and you can find all the measurements and supplies over my blog. There is a link to the blog post in the description of this video. It's also a link to my online store if you would like to purchase any Stamping Up supplies and you don't already have a demonstrator. I would love if you purchase through me. There's quite a few bonuses if you do. Um, you can check them out over on my blog. So what we're going to do first is I have already got my three by six uh, note cards. They're scored in half. Now before I fold and burnish them, I wanna bring the big shot in and let's emboss them with that beautiful embossing folder. So I'm just gonna pop it in halfway to where I want it to go to and run all those three through. And these give a really awesome detail to those card bases. They look really elegant. While we have the big shot out, I also want to do all my die cutting of those three tags. So you have a piece of the Whisper White, and we are die cutting these two dies here in the Whisper White, and this one here on the end, we are using Daffodil Delight to cut that one out. So let's pop this one through. We have the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to die cut that last tag there. So that gives us our three tags. We also need to die cut the little pumpkins and I have a little piece of uh, pumpkin pie for that one. I'm just gonna bring my two little pumpkins in. Run that one through. Mm -hmm. 
And as you can see, that piece of pumpkin pie is more than enough uh, room to get those two little gorgeous pumpkins out. Finish with the big shot, so let's make some room on the desk. What we might do is we might start with this one first. So we have the yellow tag, the Daffodil Delight tag. I'm going to bring in my stamps. And the great thing is, is these come a set of three on one stamp. So for the Daffodil Delight tag, we're using this bottom stamp. I'm also going to bring in just a mat. So I've just got a piece of copy paper on top just to protect my mat. We're going to ink up that last stamp that says Sending Halloween Hello. Ink that up with the, with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to line that one up. Okay. And I'm also going to bring in a small piece of pumpkin pie and all the measurements are there and we're going to ink it up again. I need that Halloween sentiment in the middle. So let's line that up. gives us our sentiment just there. So there is our two pieces that we need. We have a piece of the gorgeous grape cardstock and we're going to bring that one and three quarter inch circle punch in and just do a quick circle. And that's going to go behind our tag. So just like that. So let's pop our Tag up with some dimensionals. Popping it down on the circle. How cute are these colours together? And I'm going to bend a cut. So just to that edge there. And then the ends. And we're also going to pop that sentiment up really quickly as well. So there's quite a bit of dimension in these little cards. But they're so cute. More dimension. So you wouldn't want to have to send these too far. But these go really great on a gift. There's a little gift card on the gift. So we have our little note card I'm going to fold and burnish that three by three. Now Stamping Up also carries the envelopes, three by three envelopes, so that's perfect as well. And we just need a little bow for on top there. My baker's twine, I've still got the old baker's twine where it's on the card stock. It now comes on a roll. So we don't have all these kinks. And I'll pop that down with the glue dot really quickly.
So there we have our first note card. Let's move over to the next one. So let's do the candy cane style. While I have this out, let's make two more bows just really quickly so we can just pop them on in the end. So we have them all ready for the next cards. So we're going to bring in that other tag and that's this special one here. There is a few little pops out that we need. Just get rid of those ones. And we're going to bring the stamp back in again. And this is the top one this time. So let's line this one up. For this one, we're going to make a candy cane look to the tag. So we're going to bring some sponge daubers in and some ink. So I have the pumpkin pie here first. I have my sponge dauber. And I'm just going to color in the bottom of that tag. So really cute. I'm gonna move over to the Daffodil Delight. And I have another sponge dauber for that one. I'm going to add a bit of that Daffodil Delight in there. Cute. So really simple to make. We have another piece of pumpkin pie. And this one's just going to get popped on top. So let's pop a couple of dimensionals on the back there. And I find it's easier to pop your tag down and then cut off your banners on the end. That way it's nice and even. So cutting up in the middle and just giving it a banner cut. If you have the banner punch, you can certainly use that one. There we go. Another glue dot for the top there and we can add our baker's twine bow. One that I prepared earlier. And we're going to pop this one up as well. All done. So there's our second one. Moving on to Happy Boo from Me To You. This is so cute, this one. We have our last tag. I'm just gonna pop that piece out. I'm gonna bring in the mat again. And our stamp for this one is the third one, the one in the middle. So let's just ink up with the memento. Lining it up. Mm -hmm. 
And for this one as well, we're going to come back in with the Daffodil Delight. And I just want to add a little bit of colour in the middle. It's best if you can wait for that memento to dry just slightly. Um, it's sort of muddied it a little bit. But I've got to keep moving. I'm going to attach my little pumpkins with a rolled up glue dot. That just gives it a, a little bit of extra dimension. So let's roll one up. And I will off center the pumpkins just slightly so it has that black image in the background as well. So we're going to do the same uh, as we've done over here with this one. We have another piece of the pumpkin pie. So let's pop this one up on the pumpkin pie and we're going to banner cut the ends. Just centering it. Well, that wasn't very good. There we go, try that again. Another glue dot for the Baker's Twine bow. I'm just going to cut off that tail just a little bit. So this has got quite a bit of dimension. You certainly could just use um, Tombow glue and not pop it up so much. Um, I just like that little bit of extra dimension that you can pop down there. It just really lifts the little cards up. And here's the last one. Thank you so much for visiting today. I hope you've enjoyed today's casing cards. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do. You don't want to miss my next video. And all the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog. So go and check that out. Until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.